Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah, glory, 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 hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer, and on that Sunday of the year, may the Lord bless you all, may the Lord bless you. We greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God for God for bringing us once again together to fellowship together we bless the name of the lord our god is good mighty savior wonderful savior great father we bless his holy name in jesus name this is this is virtual so many christ ministry may the lord bless you all in jesus name amen hallelujah hallelujah i would like to have a word of prayer oh heavenly father Ancient of this, Father, we give you all the glory, all the, all the honor, the praise. We thank you for this special moment. We thank you for another Sunday of the year, Father, as we gather to worship you, as we gather to, to worship your mighty God, Father. Arise, O Lord, each other, and take all the glory, all the honor, and the praise of my God. Everything that will be done in this service today, today, let it be for your glory in the name of Jesus. Christ. Father, thank you, Lord, and bless your name, Father. We worship you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. I have prayed. Amen. We have prayed. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Mighty Savior. Mighty Redeemer. Amen. I would like to read the word of the Lord from the, the book of Psalms 150. Praise Master Jesus. Our God is good. Mighty Savior. Mighty Redeemer. The book of Psalms 150. I read in Jesus' name. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the God in the, his the sanctuary. Praise the him in the, the firmament of uh, his and the power. Praise the him for his uh, mighty acts. Praise the him according to his uh, excellent greatness. Excellent greatnesses. Praise the him with the, the sound of uh, the trumpet. Praise the him with uh, the satry and the harps. Praise the him with the, uh, with the timbering and the dance. Praise the him with the string instruments and organs. Praise the him him upon the, the loud symbols, praise the him upon the, the sounding symbol, upon, upon the high sounding symbols. Let everything that has a breath praise the Lord, praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless his holy name in Jesus' name. And thank you, Lord. Oh, we are saying thank you, Father. Thank you, my Lord, we are saying thank you, Father God. Thank you, my Lord, oh, we are saying thank you, Father God. Thank you, my Lord, we are saying thank you, Father God. <clears throat> thank you, my Lord. Oh, we are saying thank you, Father God. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Father God. Thank you, my Lord. Oh, we are saying thank you, Father God. My Lord, <clears throat> I say he thank you, Father God. Thank you, my Lord. Oh, we are say thank you, Father God. Thank you, Papa God. We are say thank you, Father God. Thank you, my Lord. Oh, we are say we are say Lord. Thank you, my Lord. We are say thank you, Father God. Thank you, my Lord. We I say thank you for everything. Thank you, my Lord. We I say thank you for your mess. Thank you, my Lord. We I say thank you, Father God. Thank you, my Lord. We I say thank you, Father God. Thank you, my Lord. Oh, we are saying thank you, Father God. Thank you, Papa God. We are saying thank you, Father God. Thank you, my Lord. Praise Master Jesus. We take we, we are saying thank you to our Father, our Redeemer. Almighty Savior, Mighty Redeemer, there is no other God like, uh, like our Savior, our Redeemer. We bless His soul in there. We thank God for God, His word. He's mighty, he says, silent is wonderful. We bless his holy name in Jesus' name. This is our Sunday service. We bless the name of the Lord. We like to call upon the woman of God for the opening prayer. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Evangel Evangelist Jamie, the Lord bless you, ma. God bless 
to my sister. God bless you. We thank God for another Sunday. We thank God for another time. He has made for us to be glad and enjoy in it. We glorify his holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. We praise your name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We give you praise. Amen. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We praise your name. Amen. Thank you, my Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We worship you. Amen. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We praise your name. Amen. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We praise your name. Amen. We worship you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We praise your name. Amen. We worship you. Amen. Hallelujah, amen. We worship you, amen. Thank you, Jehovah Jireh. We praise your name, amen. Hallelujah, amen. We worship you, amen. I never know you honor me this way, this way, oh Lord. We never know who you honor us this way, honor us this way, oh mighty God. We never know you bless us this hour. We never will know that you will take us this hour. We never know that you honor us this way, Lord, you honor us this way, oh mighty God. We never know that you honor of this way. Jehovah oh. Jireh, you honor of this way. Oh. King of glory, you take us this far. We honor of this way. Almighty God, we have failed us. We have a father that will never. Never us. Jesus is our father. He will never ever say us. Rock of ages. Never ever. Never ever say. We have a father that will never ever say. We have a father that will never ever say us. Jehovah Jireh. You never ever say. Oh. A king of God, never ever fail. Oh my God, you are good. Oh my God, you are good. Oh, oh my God, you are good. 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 Oh Jehovah, you are good. Oh my God, you are good. You good for us. You are good. You good for us. You are good. Oh Lord God, you are. Good. Oh Jehovah, you are good. You are good. Oh my God, you are good. Oh my God, you are good. Oh my God, you are good. Come and join us in Hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done it well. Come and join us in Hallelujah. The rock of ages has done it well. Come and join us. Come and join us. Oh, come and join us, sing hallelujah. 
Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord our God is good. Let us begin to thank God for his goodness, for his lovely kindness, for his bringing us again to another Sunday of the year. To see another Sunday of the year, we, we are going to bless his soul. And he's so good, he's so kind, our lovely daddy. Excellent, wonderful daddy. Let us begin to thank him. His word, let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, Father Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you all the glory, the honor, the praise of my God. And we glorify your holy name, Lord Father. We give you the praise. You are the most high God, Father. You bring us to the very mention of your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Father, for your love. Every God shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God, the Father. To the glory of God, the Father. And I will say this: Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless your holy name, Lord Jesus. Father, our Son, that He marvelous, that He great Father. Thank you so much. Thank you for each and every one of us, Lord. And I will thank you for this ministry, Father. We say thank you. the God of the whole universe, we tell you, say thank you. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, we worship you. We are telling you, we are you, we are you, we are you, we are Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I hand over to you, man. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us go before the throne of grace and mercy and begin to ask God for mercy for any sin we have committed consciously or unconsciously knowingly or unknowingly, any sin we have committed with our mouth, any sin we have committed with our eyes, our ear, 
our mind. Let us begin to confess it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of all the ages, of the Father of the Lord, in any way that you are sitting in this place, we pray for your mercy, Father. Lord God, have mercy in any way that have short of your glory, anything that is in my spiritual garment, Almighty God, and please for your mercy. Name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, King of Lords and the Lord of 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 you are going to call upon the blood of Jesus, the blood of purification the blood of justification, the blood of cleansing, of elevation, the blood of reconciliation to come and cleanse us and reconcile us with our maker. Prayer in the mighty name of oh, Jesus. Lord, my heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord Almighty, of all the ages, call upon the, the wonderful we blood call of upon Jesus, the, blood of the Jesus, cleansing the power of in the blood of Jesus Christ, the sanctifying power in the blood of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, of the Lord, 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 the
the Spirit of God. That wherever the enemy are gathered at this time of the day, against the children of God, against this ministry, against this meeting tonight, today, let the, let, let the power of God scatter them wherever they are. In the mighty name of Jesus, be Father, it in the, the air, the land, and the sea. Father, Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, Father, Lord God Almighty, Father, Lord God Almighty, we release the, the power of God Jesus, to go in the air, the land, and the sea. Father, 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 Father,
our sweet daughter of Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. I, I welcome you all in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. Amen. With praise and worship. Amen. We give glory to the Lord, he reigns. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns. We give glory to the Lord, he reigns. Hallelujah. We give glory to the Lord, he reigns. He reigns, he reigns, we give glory to the Lord, he reigns. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns.
God, you are my all and all. You wanna send Jesus. You wanna send. You wanna send. You never change. You are the same, Lord. You are the same, Jesus. You are the same. You are the same. You never change. You are the same, Jesus.
your name is Father God, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, Almighty God. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be worshipped. You are worthy to be adored. You are worthy to be magnified. Thank you so much, Father. Father, we bless your holy name. We exalt your name, Father. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God for the praise and worship. We bless his holy name in Jesus' name. More grace to you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So I will still call our choir for the hymn. We are, still, we are still praising our Father, Almighty God. Hallelujah. And the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. This is another moment again for us to sing our hymn. I found a friend in Jesus. I found a friend in Jesus. He's everything to me. He is the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. He is the lily of the valley. He me alone I need to cleanse him and make me fully old. In sorrow is my comfort, in trouble is my stay. He touched me a 
returning to Rome. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of the thousand to my soul. In sorrow is my comfort, in trouble is my stand. He touches me every day on him to roll. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of the thousand to my soul. In all my grief was taken, and all my sorrow brought. Intercession is my strong and mighty tower. I have all my evil forsaken, I have all my idol taught. From my heart, sound gives me in his power. Though all of my world forsake me, I said, don't tell me no. Through Jesus, I shall safely reach the goal. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. In sorrow is my comfort. In trouble is my stand. He touched me and we tie on into all. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of the thousand to my soul. He will never, never leave me, nor yet forsake me. Yet. Why I live by faith unto his blessed will. Hey, Lord, I fire on me. I have nothing to be fair. With my is my hungry soul shall feed. Then sweet me unto glory. I see his blessed face. No rivers of denied I shall ever fall. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of the thousand to my soul. In sorrow in my comfort, in trouble in my sin, he touched me and we tell you need to roll. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. In sorrow is my comfort, in trouble is my self. He touched me every day I need to roll. He's the lily of the valley. The bright and morning star is the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah, glory, 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 hallelujah to the Lamb of God. More grace, more grace unto you all in Jesus. And may the Lord reward you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord and our God is good. Mighty Savior, mighty Regime. Hallelujah. We thank God for that. For that uh, hymn, we bless the name of the Lord. Amen. So right now, I will call upon our sister, Sister Destiny, for the Bible reading. And the Lord bless you, my sister. Amen. I read in Jesus' name, Psalms 134, verse 1 to 3. Behold, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary, and bless the Lord. Amen. The Lord that made heaven and earth, bless thee out of Zion. Amen. 
Amen. May the Lord bless you. We thank God for that Bible reading, the book of Psalms 134. We bless them. We are the servants of the Lord. We are standing in this house. Blessed his holy name is worthy. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah to the Lamb. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for God. Amen. So, testimony time. Blessing time. Time for testimony. Testimony time. I know all of us got a testimony. All of us. Praise Master Jesus. Testimony time. Blessing time. <laughs> Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God. I just want to thank God for his goodness, for his lovely kindness. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God for keeping me and my family alive. It's a testimony. I thank God for all my family members. And I thank God for each and every one of us in this ministry. We bless the name of the Lord for each and every one of us. I thank God for God, for being our God, for choosing us, showing us the way. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. So my testimony that I am alive, God kept me alive, my husband, my children, and each and every one of us that is in this ministry. May the Lord bless you all. Father God, I thank you. That is my testimony. Thank God for each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God. Almighty Savior. So do any, any one of us have testimony? Hallelujah. Okay. Ah, I can see our evangelist is just holding out camera. I think I know she's got his testimony in any way. Uh, so we give you time to testify. <laughs> uh, okay, since uh... We've been, it's not supposed to be like that, but anyway, testimony, we all have testimony. Testimony, it can be something that happened around you and you you heard about it or something that happened in your family. You just encourage others by giving your testimony to also encourage other people. Hallelujah. I want to thank God about my father. My father. My father was sick in 2019. The enemy was giving him a wrong diagnostic and the doctor said that he only have two months to live. But God transformed the two months to more than two years now. Since 2019, they said that he will not reach 2020 and today is 21. And I, I, I believe the God that was keeping him when the doctor said that there's no more hope, they say, uh, 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 95 of his brain is dead but my father still remember everything sometimes when i talk to him i'll ask him the question the things that in the family uh, the things that was happening before i was born and my father will tell me in details thing that he told me years ago and he still repeated it without any mistake that means the brain is still new if god can renew the brain of my father he can also do for other people that are sick, you know. The enemy, we need to believe in the report of God, not of men, because man can always make a mistake. But if you have faith, God can change your situation from bad to good. So this is the testimony, how I see my father. Some, he went to the same doctor, and the doctor was surprised. He said, I thought your father would not be able to walk. My brother bought a wheelchair from Belgium to Africa to give it to my father. My father only used it for one month. Until today, my father can walk properly, can do everything. So I thank God for what God can do in the life of those that believe on him. Amen. So this is my testimony to encourage, to encourage another person. Maybe you have one parent that is sick. Maybe you yourself are sick. Maybe we are praying for somebody that in the hospital. Don't lose hope. God is a miracle working God. 
and God is the healer of all sickness and all disease. So when they ask for testimony, remember that you still are loved by the grace of God. So brief, when you wake up today, you have a testimony because many people die when you went to bed, but you wake up is to glorify God. May the Lord bless you all. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for your daddy's life, for giving him, hallelujah, see, two months, to, from two months to two years plus. We bless the name of the Lord. He's still alive. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We see that testimony with the precious Lord of Jesus Christ. Amen. I think our brother has a testimony. Rasam, we have a testimony. Hallelujah. No. <laughs> so, Brother Samuel, do you have testimony? Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Okay. So, I will welcome right now the newcomer first. May the Lord bless you all. Hallelujah. So I welcome, praise Master Jesus, our new commands. Praise Master Jesus. Okay, we bless the name of the Lord. The internet is, was not stable. We bless the name of the Lord. Amen. So I welcome all the, all the one that following us online. May the Lord bless you all for joining us, for tuning in. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. So I will welcome our evangelist, Evangelist Mary. May the Lord bless you, ma. May the Lord bless you more grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Evangelist John, may the Lord bless you more, more grace and the choirs. May the Lord bless all of you in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Amen. May the Lord, Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I welcome my Pastor James. May the Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord Amen. bless you. So I welcome, uh, I welcome our brother that's saying Amen. May the Lord bless you, Brother Joshua. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So I welcome uh, Brother <clears throat> Brother Samuel. May the Lord bless you. More grace, more grace, more anointing from Almighty God. We have more grace in Jesus' name. Amen. This is a testimony. May the Lord bless you. You are a testimony. A really testimony. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Sister Plamedi, may the Lord bless you. Brother Jesse, may the Lord bless you. Sister Neto, to, Mrs. Atolu, may the Lord bless you, my sister. More grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lord. Oh, sister, uh, sister Gospel, may the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Sister Regine, may the Lord bless you. Sister Faith, may the Lord bless you, Sister Regine, more grace in Jesus' name. Sister, sister uh, Favor, may the Lord bless you for joining. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Sister and faith, and faithful, Faithfulness, may the Lord bless you for joining. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless the name of the Lord. Am I forgetting any, anyone? Okay, I think no. Ah, sister Destiny, may the Lord bless you, my sister, in Jesus' name. And may the Lord bless me as well, in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. So right now, we thank God for God. I, I hope I, I make sure Pastor James. May the Lord bless you, sir. More grace. I hope I didn't forget. Sister Tolu, God. Sister, yeah, Sister Tolu, may the Lord bless you, my sister. More grace, in Jesus' name. Amen. So now we bless the name of the Lord. We are going to right now pray for the woman of God. We are waiting for, for, for we are waiting to eat. We are hungry and thirsty for the word of God. So right now, let all of us be ready to eat the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord, Father God says in it, Lord Jesus Christ says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of, and that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So right now. Let us be ready, get our Bible ready, and our, and our ball pen, our jota to jot something down by the grace of God in Jesus. And let us pray for the woman of God, whom God has chosen to deliver the message that coming from the throne room 
of God to, to you and to me. Let us pray for her more grace, more anointing. Let us pray for her in Jesus' name. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for your daughter, sir. Father, we thank you for choosing her to be the one that you used to be a blessing to us today, Father. Father, mighty God, a shadow, mighty God, Father, anoint her. Oh, Lord Jesus, put your word in her mouth in the name of Jesus. She, she will open her mouth, Almighty God. Let your word of mighty God flow out of her mouth to us in the name of Jesus, Christ, Father. Your word that come from your true room in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, my Lord, any flesh that want to intervene, Father, mighty God, let that, let that flesh be disappeared right now out of fire in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father. Anoint our Lord, fresh anointing from above unto her, Lord. Anoint her voice, anoint her lips, Almighty God, to deliver your word. And I give her the spirit of boldness to speak your word boldly in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, please don't let her forget anything that you know that we need to, know, to, to hear for us to grow more, to grow in love, to grow in, in your faith, oh my, to increase our faith more and more in you. Father, don't let her forget it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, be with her, Father, guide her, and send your warrior angels to encamp around her. Father, my daddy, we thank you. We bless you only. We thank you for the word that we hear today. We soak the word with your precious blood of Jesus Christ. We soak every ear that we hear your word today with your precious blood of Jesus Christ. Father, and give us the grace, Almighty God, to be a hearer and a doer of your word. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise Master Jesus, praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So I will welcome the woman of God. May the Lord bless you. Evangelist Mary, may the Lord bless you, Mary. Hallelujah. Ma, you are muted, Ma. I'm so sorry. Thank you for reminding me. God bless you. Hallelujah. God have mercy on me. Hallelujah. Let us have the word of prayer. King of glory, shed of day, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity, O oh Lord, Father, to gather ourselves together in your presence, O oh Lord. Father, your word say, when I throw of you, I gather in your name, you are there. Father, we thank you for your presence in our midst right now. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, for the Holy Spirit, O oh Lord, Father, that is ready to teach us all things that we need to know, O oh Lord, about you. Father, we thank you, King of glory, we glorify your holy name, O oh Lord. Father, as we come before you, O oh Lord, we come at the empty verse, O oh Lord, Father, fill us, fill us with your word, fill us with your spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Father, open our spiritual understanding. Our spiritual ears to understand your word the way you want us to understand, O Lord Jesus. And prepare our heart, O Lord Father, as a solid ground, O Lord Jesus, Father, that you welcome your word and you manifest in our heart and grow to bring forth the fruit of holiness and righteousness in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, come and take over, come and take control. Father, anoint my tongue, O Lord Father, that deliver the message the way it come, it come down from the throne of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, put your word in my mouth, O Lord Father, as we say to Jeremiah, O Lord, I'll put the word in your mouth. Father, put the right word in my mouth that you want us to hear today. Father, fill our inner man, O Lord Father, with your word, O Lord, your word of knowledge, your word of understanding, and your word of truth to show us the right way, O Lord Father, that we may go. And do not depart from it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, commit this wonderful message, O Lord, Father, into your hand, O Lord, Father, Holy Spirit. Come and deliver it to us in the mighty name of Jesus. And use my mouth to talk to us, O Lord, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. And give us the grace, O Lord, Father, also to be the doer of it, not just the era only. We cover ourselves, the blood of Jesus, come against the spirit of destruction in our midst of forgetfulness in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Our topic today, we will be talking about the test of faith. <clears throat> Hallelujah. We are talking about the test of faith. You might have heard it before, but God will talk to you in a very different way today. Let us quickly read First uh, Peter 4, the book of First Peter 4. The book of First Peter 4, <clears throat> 12 to 13. Hallelujah. I may go all the way to 19. He said, Beloved, <clears throat> think it not strange concerning the fearing trial, which is to, to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. 
but to rejoice in as much as ye are partaker of Christ's suffering, that when is the glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with ex 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 exceeding joy. Hallelujah. We need to understand that every moment of our every moment of our life, or every moment of the day, our test, our faith has been tested through the enemy. You understand the enemy will test our faith, and God also will want to prove whether we really love him or we do the will of God. So the, the test it can be from God or it can also be from the enemy. The difference between uh, the test the, be, be, the, between uh, try and challenge is that try will make you to grow spiritually because you must go through try whether you like it or not to prove that yes you are really a child of God you are both in the world of God you have to go through try so that you that is through that try that you practice the word of God that's and also the enemy will challenge you will challenge your faith to say how close you how close you are with God and how uh, faithful you are with God that's why the Bible is telling us that <clears throat> Think not straight to think concerning the fiery trial because there is a those fiery trial that when it comes to you, you can easily doubt God. You can easily doubt God. He said, but rather, <clears throat> which will try you because we are children of God, whether we like it or not, we must pass through trial. They will try us because we are what? We are the partaker of Christ's suffering. Jesus himself, he said, we should carry our cross daily. Carry our cross, we know that is not nothing that light, is nothing that easy, is not is something that is very difficult. Something that is very difficult. And the only thing that can encourage us is the strength of God. Whether we like it or not, Satan will test your faith by bringing some challenging and temptation in our way. It will bring, it will tempt us. It will tempt us. To see what you are preaching, if you are really being the doer of it. It will test you to see what you are reading, if you are putting it in practice. It will test you, it will challenge you in so many ways. That's why you see many that are not bold in faith. When the challenge will come, many of them, they drop the assignment. They change direction. They give up. Why? Because it's too hard. It's too painful. They don't want to face it. The cross is heavy. The cross is heavy. And the way can be long when you are carrying the cross of salvation. The enemy will tell you that you cannot do it. You cannot take it to the end. But the grace of God is sufficient for us to take it to the end. Most of the time we believe that when you come to Christ, everything has to be okay. No, when you give your life to Jesus, when you give your life to Christ, when you kill the flesh, when you become born again, then you decide, you take the first step to enter into a battlefield. Your life becomes a battlefield when the enemy will fight you every moment and when God will defend you any moment that the enemy will fight you through your faith. The more stronger in your, you are in faith, the more you overcome everything the enemy will place in your way. But you have to pass through it. They can, you cannot go into your promised land without facing the wilderness, without fight, fighting the enemy that will block you from going to enter into that. Some, they will not even take you to go there easily. You must fight. We cannot enter heaven without fighting. The power in our father's house, they are number one, they are not happy because we have left them. They've been controlling our life from day one until the moment you left. They are not happy because you are not living alone. You are breaking the chain that is going to deliver and all other people that are behind you. Because of that, they will not leave you. They will challenge you to make sure if they can discourage you, from following the right way. But the white Bible is telling us that we should rejoice because we are the partaker, because we choose the right way, because we are no longer in the camp of the enemy. That's why the enemy is fighting us because he wants us back. If he cannot take you back out of that challenge, he will kill you and send you to where 
you don't want to go. That is hellfire. That is the moment that our faith, we need to grow our faith any moment. Every single moment, our faith needs to grow. Because the assignment of the enemy is to take us out of the way. Is to take us out from the presence of God. He doesn't want us to get where God has prepared for us. That's why he's fighting us. That's why he's fighting us. But also, there is a challenge that will come because of the fear of God in you. Maybe God wants to take you in another level. And for you to go to that level, you need to pay the price of it. The more your calling is higher, the more your challenges and trials will be also higher. Every position has its own level. The more you are growing spiritually, the more your challenges, the more your trials also will increase. The more your pain also will increase. The more your pain also will increase. Remember when our Lord Jesus was getting closer to the cross. He feels stronger pain than he was feeling before. He cried more than he cried before. Because it, it, the pain was so intense that even he was sweating blood. Because he was getting to another level. And you cannot get to that level without being tried. If you are qualified to that level. You have to be qualified for each level that God will make you. That's why when you see David was anointed by God himself. But for him to sit down in that throne, he have to face, to face so many challenges. He have to face so many trials. He have to kill Goliath. He have to kill the Philistines. He have to fight great battle for him to be qualified to sit down in that throne. There is nothing God will give you. It, will be, it can be for free, but there is a price to pay. There is a price to pay. I want to be the one to do that. Oh, yeah. You do it. That's why when Peter said that, I'm ready to go to prison with you. When he said to our Lord Jesus, I'm ready to get to prison with you. Jesus said to him, rebuke him immediately. He said, you are not even in standard. You cannot even stand on your own right now. How can you? Before the cock, uh, 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 because the cock crow in the morning, three times you deny me. He was not yet in the standard because he has not yet reached the level to get to that level to die with, for our Lord Jesus. He was not bold enough in faith, you know. Let us quickly read um, before we come back to our verse. Our key verse, let us go to the book of Luke 22. Luke 22. Luke 22, verse 31. You see? Here Jesus was uh, talking to Simon, to Peter then. And the Lord GM, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you. That he may sift, he may sift you as wheat, but I have prayed for for thee that thy faith fail not, and when thou hast converted, and strengthened thy brethren. You understand? Because he saw that this one he has not yet converted, he has not yet get to the level that he can stand on his own. That Jesus prayed for him that his faith faint not because when the challenge will come the first thing to do is to deny our lord jesus is to deny our lord jesus because it was not yet strong in the fight it was not yet to get to that state that that state that he can say that i'll stand with my two feet to fight jesus needed to pray for him he can you, you know he can use people around you. Satan can use you, people around you just to bring your faith down by trying you, by trying to discourage you. That's what the enemy do, you know. But the, the, the grace of God is there to help us. There is two types of challenges. Some challenges you face, it, some trials you face it because you decide to live a holy life. That's how we face some challenges. You come to time. The enemy will prove you, you have without food, you have nothing to eat, and the enemy is waiting. How strong are you? How do you trust God until you have to believe that you send you food? That you have to believe that you provide for you? And this is the time that the enemy will come and introduce himself, you know, to say that, ah, 
do you think God can send the food to come down from heaven? God can do that. God can do that. Look another way. Look another solution. That's how the enemy comes. He always comes when you think you are desperate. When you think you are thinking something. When you are in need of something. That is the time the enemy came to offer his own offer. And most of the time his offer always makes us like to think. You understand? To think and think again. The test of faith is to make you to be strong in the difficult time so that the enemy will not get you. And some challenges, and some challenges and trials, it comes because of our way of living, our sinful life, the thing that we have not yet dropped, you know. Let's say, for example, you cause trouble, or you went to talk about somebody, you went to gossip about somebody, or you cause trouble, and they are coming to fight you, say that you call it, uh, they are fighting me because of holiness. You borrow something you did not pay. By the time they started challenging you, you say that, oh, it's because I'm in Christ Jesus. That's why they're fighting me. No, that's why you open the door yourself. That is different. That is the enemy that he came to introduce himself to you. That's why he, he says, um, uh, I, I, I ended in, let me start in 14 now. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy ye. Happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God rested upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. Hallelujah. Now, 15. But let none of you suffer, let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a, as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matter. I'm talking about gossiping. You went to bed. They said, let it not be any man to be any man, uh, uh, to be busy body in other man's matter. When they are talking something, you want to go. When you backfire to you, you start, oh, uh, God, they are persecuting me. They are not persecuting you. You are persecuting yourself because you are the one who opened the door. You understand? You went to steal there. They are not following you. You start now crying, oh, they are persecuting me all because of the Christ. It's not because of Christ. That one is because of your wickedness. That is different. That's why the Bible is telling man. If ye, if um, yet, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be, <clears throat> let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on the uh, on his behalf. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God, and if the first begin as uh, at us, what shall the end be to them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteousness scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as into the faith, uh, unto the faithful creator. Hallelujah. You see what the Bible is telling us. There's some challenges. It doesn't come from God, but from Satan. But the one that comes from God, God wants to take you to another level. He wants to strengthen you. I want you to learn something. You understand? We need faith to overcome trust and temptation. But for us to overcome those trials, we need to trust God. We need to trust God because there is no way you can avoid it. Hallelujah. First Peter 1 7, verse 7, he said, That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than a gold than perish, though it be tried with fire, might be found into praise and honor and glory at the appearing of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. That the trial of your faith, you can see that your faith, your faith need to pass through trial. I am a child of God until the challenge come. I am a child of God until the trial come. It's the trial and challenge that is going to, to qualify you as a child of God. Is the challenge and the trial that you're going to make, the temptation that you come in the way, that is going to, to, to qualify you whether you are born again. It's not by words. You cannot be born again by words. You cannot be born again by... You cannot be born again by the word. You need to prove it. You need to prove it. And that proving is exactly what is going to qualify you. Is that that is going to qualify you as a child of God? Yes, you pass all the tests. They will beat you if you react. You are not born again. That means the flesh is still active in you. That's why you're defending yourself. 
They insult you. You feel like you feel like you want to reply because the flesh has not yet died. The the the, uh, the the work of the flesh is still active in you, having dominion, dominating your life. You know the difference. Like I said, the difference between trial and temptation is that trial will make you you make your faith grow, grow by trusting God. And God allow tries to uh, allow tries to strengthen you and to strengthen you and to make you mature spiritually. You become more mature spiritually. Why do we have to give testimony? Why do we come to give testimony? That's why when they call testimony time, testimony time, you have no, you fail you in the test of trial. That's why you don't have testimony. Or you have testimony, but you think it's too little for you to share with others. There is no small testimony. Everything God do in our life is greater. Until you find yourself in that situation, then you see that. We think when you wake up, you breathe. It's normal. Our breath is normal. We always breathe until you find yourself in a way that you cannot even breathe. Many people are dying with just with water. He just want to drink water and he choke. You say, how can somebody die just by drinking water? Ah. So you think drinking water because you drink two liters a day, you think it's common. It's the grace of God. Whatever we do is the grace of God. Therefore, it's a testimony. Many people, they can stay a week without getting into the toilet. They have to see the doctor for them to use the toilet. But you are using it normal. You think it's a normal thing just because you have not yet faced the challenge in that area. We need to glorify God in everything that you do. We need to always pass the test of our faith. Our faith has been major whether we like it or not he has been major that's why we cannot remove the mountain that is coming our way the challenge that is coming our way we cannot speak the word and the word manifest why because our faith is little because it's too little we are finding it difficult to pass it because each time a challenge thing comes you think that oh you have not yet reached that level that you can cry and god will answer you you think this one, this one, maybe I need this, maybe I need that because of that. That's why. What Satan uh, tempt the children of God is to destroy their faith, is to bring doubt in us, to bring doubt, to bring discouragement. Oh, maybe God is not hearing me. Oh, I've been praying. Oh, how come you, that person, when he pray after one week, there is people that will come, eh? he say. I, I, they will ask questions in the morning. Before 30 minutes, they already got the answer. When you hear like this, you say, ah, maybe my faith is so little. Maybe they are not hearing me. Faith is not only about receiving. It's also about giving. You cannot expect receiving something when you are not giving anything. You need to give your time to God. You need to give your time to God to have intimacy with God. Where God can speak to you and you are listening. When you are too distracted, you are not hearing the instruction of God. How do you expect to receive from Him? Maybe He has been given to you, but because you are so distracted, you cannot even pay attention. God is talking to you. You are not listening. God is giving you instruction. You are not following. And you say God is not listening. Who is not listening? Who is not focused? Is God God cannot be, God is God, God is holy, God is perfect. It's you that you are not focusing. Before you go somewhere, you did not ask the will of God whether you can go. By the time you backfire for you, then you start, hey, God, God. Some challenge doesn't come from God. Some challenge comes from Satan because of our disobedience. Because of the, our disobedience. We need to learn how to obey. So that you will not face all those unnecessary challenges that you could have avoided by obeying just the word of God. Hallelujah. You have to expect, you, you, I'm expecting something, I want God to do this. You're not even closer to God. You don't even pray. You don't read your Bible. You don't fast. You don't worship God. And you expect everything you ask God to give you freely. God say in his word, he doesn't hear the prayer of a sinner. And you expect something from God. How? How God? Do you, how do you expect God to answer you? The people that are still in ignorance that have not come to the knowledge of truth, God will give them that grace because they know, he knows that one day they will come to the knowledge of truth and they will obey him. But when you, God knows that you already know the truth and you are not obeying, he has no interest of it until you repent. 
until you repent. Some of the trial that that's why we see we are not overcoming it because we are still there. You are still at the consequences of our sin. Is the one that is making us to suffer. We are not suffering because of Christ. We are suffering for the consequences of our sin. The consequences of our sin, they say this one is a sin, you are still doing it. Many people, they are still addicted of this ungodly film. Many people, they are still addicted of this ungodly, uh, uh, the worldly things. And God already warned us that if you love the world, love not the world, neither the thing of the world. Because when you love the world and the thing of the world, the love of the Father is not there. It's the love of Satan. But when Satan sees that you are in between, he will make your life to experience hellfire. And you'll be saying that it's God that is trying you. No, God will not try you in that way. God will try you to make you your faith to go, to grow. It's not to try you to punish you. You have to learn how to sacrifice to God too. Give your time to God. Worship Him. Praise Him. Oh, constantly be in His presence by reading His word. By always, you know. You are keep on talking. Don't get tired. I'm praying. I'm not hearing God. You'll be surprised. Keep on talking. Keep on talking. Keep on asking him. One of these days, the day that you have not expected, you just hear him talking to you. Just hear him talking to you. He will just answer you. He answer you in the time that he wants, not in the time that we want. He will do his will, not our will. Whether you take the knife and cut your, your throat, if God said that it's not the time to answer, he will not answer you. It's your choice whether you want to continue or not. But if you know what you are looking for, you'll be patient. Continue to ask. Continue to ask until one of these days say, okay, now, maybe you have not yet reached the level for you to get, to get what you've been asking him, you know, that you've been asking him. So be patient. Wait. Until the time will come. You know. Abraham, for him to be to pass the test, he needed to be tested by God. God will ask you something that you love more. To see whether you are qualified to pass that test. Whether you are ready to pass that test. You always claim you don't have time. God now is asking for your time. More time. And you might be having, ah, if I give now, if I do this, eh, what about my this, what about my that? And God is telling you that whatever you have is by His grace. If He say you don't have it, you will not have it. So when it comes to give God His time, don't question Him. Don't, don't argue. Just give Him. Just like Abraham did. Abraham, when they asked the child that he is so far, he so far for the child that he was waiting for so many years, and finally that child came, he started enjoying that child, he started having love of that, loving that child, he started experiencing the fatherhood. You understand? The next week, God said that enough. I think that child is taking my sp my space in your heart. I want you to give him back to me. What is that thing that God is jealous for? God is jealous for something that is taking more. He, that is taking his place in your heart. And he wants you to sacrifice that thing to him. Are you ready to do that? Are you ready to pass to that test? Are you ready to pass to that test? If you're still giving like you know the reason why you know at, at the moment at this, then you already fell. You already fell. But Abraham did not think twice. Abraham did not think twice. He said, I never had a son anyway. So if I have him, it's him that gave me. I was waiting for the son for so many years. If I, he's the one that gave me, if he, I give it back to him, it's not going to change anything because my love that I have for God is greater than any other thing that I can have. That's why the Bible is telling us to seek first the kingdom of God. And the rest shall be given unto us. Give your time. That business you have is God that gives you that grace. So let not that business take the place of God in your heart. Let not that job take the, 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 the love of God in your heart. Whatever you are doing, always acknowledge God to be the first. And be ready. That's why you see. I listen to, um, I watch one um, a Christian movie many years ago. This woman wanted to play like Anna. 
like to play as Anna. You see what Anna did? Anna passed the test. Anna asked for someone. He said, if you give me, you have to be ready to give for you to receive. He said, if you give me a male child, eh, I will not cut his hair. I will keep him in your presence until I will come and offer him to you. This is the agreement they did. Most of us we give the we, we make agreement with God, but we are not doing it. We are not doing it. We are not obeying that agreement. One of these days, <clears throat> let me finish with Anna. So Anna, God gave him Samuel. He waited for him to fulfill his promise. And exactly that he did. He fulfilled it by giving someone. And the Bible said God gave him other children because of that faithfulness that he, uh, she had to God. You understand? He gave. But this woman, she went to the church and cried. And if you give me a child, I will do like Anna. Yes, you do like Anna. God gave him a child. First year, second year, the church starts, finish the, the primary school, finish the second school. The woman completely forgot about the promise he made to God. And God was patient waiting for, for that woman. Because God was waiting for him to offer the child to him so that he can do like, um, like he did to Anna by giving her other children. And since she was not fulfilling that promise, God also did not give her other children except that one. Because it's like, you give me, I'll give you. So God already did his own part. He was waiting for the woman now to fulfill her own part. And the woman forget about it. He thinks that you can play with God. So the woman forget about it. The child get into university. So when the child was in the university, the mother asked the child. The child was so faithful in the things of God. The child was so prayerful. Because it came from God himself as a gift to her. So... <clears throat> One day, they were sitting on the table eating. He said, the child, uh, the, 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 friend, the, the friend of the child said, I want to be a, a, a doctor, medical doctor. And then he said, oh, you want to be a medical doctor? He now asked the uh, own child. So what about you? The child, the, the child said, I want to be a minister of God. I want to be a pastor to win soul for God. Hey, the woman gets so mad. He said, what? I'm paying school fees for you to be a minister of God, to be a pastor. Eh? That's why I'm, pay, I'm wasting all this money. Eh? Look at your friend. Eh? Your friend say you're going to be a medical doctor and you want to be a pastor to be winning soul. So why did I put you in a university there? The child say, mom, this is my assignment. I cannot, any, I cannot do any other thing except to do the work of God. The mother say, over my dead body, you do the work of God. <laughs> she forgot about the promise. <laughs> She forgot about the promise she made for her to get that child. That child that was bringing her joy. She forgot to make. That's why she did not get the second part of our, our blessing. Which it was the second part of Anna's blessing. God giving more children. You understand? And someone died in the presence of God. Someone never backslide. He died. He was born as a... As a you know, he was sacrificed from the first day that he was born. Anna said that it's not mine, it's yours. I will give it back to you. Eh? Gratefulness, you know, to be grateful to God. When you give promise, the Bible said, do not tarry to accomplish it. She, God came and warned her in the dream. He, say, he said, I gave you this child because you made a vow that when you give, I will give you this child, you return it back to me. Now, my assignment is ready to be complete, to be, to be accomplished to your son. And you are stopping him from serving me. You want to take him away from me because you did not obey the part of your our agreement. I'm going to remove mine. I'm going to take him back to myself. The woman wake up like, the woman was like, no, no, the two angels appeared, it took the boy. The woman wake up, she was crying, no, no, no. As he was crying, no, 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 the son was so all crying in his room. He was also crying in his room. He ran to his room, the child became inconscious. They took the child in the hospital. They start calling pastors eh, to come and pray for the child. Until God revealed himself to that pastor. He said, don't pray for her. She break my vow. And therefore, there's nothing she will say. She's unfaithful. I will not even answer that prayer. So don't waste your time. I'm taking the child. That's how the child died. 
in the age that she cannot even have a second chance to ask God because she's unfaithful. She failed the test. She was unfaithful to God. She failed by giving sacrifice. When you're expecting something, you do. You have to sacrifice something to God. We should not be quick to forget our our agreement or our covenant or our vow before the Lord. That's why God did it to Abraham. He wanted to test Abraham to see if he's going to pass that test. And thank God for Abraham. Abraham passed that test. Abraham was ready to sacrifice to sacrifice the child for the glory of God, not for himself. Not for himself. He was ready to sacrifice. If we say we love God and we must pass through that test that will show whether we love God or not. That's why you see God told Satan. He said, do you see my, my servant Job? He said, is it not because you gave him this, you gave him this, you gave him this? God said, no, I know his heart. Is ready to stand even if you take away all those things. Because Job already passed several tests by God. It's not everybody that can be in the position of Job and have the smile in his face and he's still talking about God. But he did it. He lost all his children. He lost everything that ever had. But he never compromised with his faith. He passed the test of faith that he has, you know. He passed the test of faith that he has. He never looked back. He never compromised. Hallelujah. Let us see what God has for us in John, the book of John 3.16. John 3.16. Yes. <clears throat> it says, um, I said, we always, we all have not this Bible verse. It said, <clears throat> For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting, everlasting life. Now, even God, he has to offer his only begotten son for you and I to be saved. Is it not the proof of that love? He proved it to us. He said, for you people to know that I love you. Even when you are killing my prophets, you are killing my servants. And now it's time to send my only son. What I have more precious, I will send it for me to show that I love humanity more than humanity think that I love them. He gave his only begotten son. Is it not the greater love than that? Do you have a greater love than that? To imagine our Lord Jesus living everything. The, those that are going to visit heaven, they say the street of gold. He doesn't even step on it. But here now, walk like you and I in this sinful world just to save you and I. But when it comes to our turn to give up something that pleases us, to give up the love of the world, we are finding it difficult to pass that test. When it's time for us to abandon everything that is not pleasing as for our soul to be saved, we find this so difficult. We start seeing how this thing is precious. We start seeing how this life is pleasant. We start seeing how expensive you buy that thing. We start reasoning. We find so difficult. But God did not think twice when he gave his only begotten son. Abraham did not think twice when he gave all his Isaac. What is your Isaac that you are finding difficult to give to God? What, who is your Isaac? Who is your Isaac? How many times do you spend reading the word of God? How many times do you spend praying? How many times do you fast? And you expect God to give you something that is precious. You need to also do your part. He too, you do his own part. Every child of God must pass through test. Whether you are too holy, or you are struggling, or you are righteous, you must pass through test. There is no way you can avoid it. Test, you'll be tested by God to qualify you to the assignment that is given to you. And you'll be tested by Satan to see if you're really a child of God. If you, what you are saying to others, what you are preaching to others, you can stand for it. 
What you are telling people, evangelizing people, if you really know this God that you are telling people, repent, the kingdom of God is at hand. And Jesus loves you. You yourself, you still have doubts that Jesus loves you. And you are telling other people that Jesus loves you. You are a liar. Because when the challenge will come, you are the first person to doubt God. If you know that God loves you, God is ready to, to, to come to do everything for you. Why are you still doubting? Because you don't know him. And yet you are opening your mouth to tell other people that Jesus loves you. You are a liar. If you cannot stand any challenge, you are a liar. You don't love God. You know him. That's why he said in the book of um, first um, First John, he said in First John, I think uh, was four or something, one four. He said he that say he. First John, let's go down. First John two, First John two, verse four. He said he that say I know him and keep not his commandment, is a liar. The truth is not in him. We need to keep the commandment of God to be the doer of it so that we can pass the test. The test of purification, just like Daniel. Daniel passed the test. Daniel, they say if you, if you, um, they make a decree just to punish him. His enemy knew that Daniel prayed this particular time. He pray how many three times a day in this particular time. They now plan evil against him with the king by saying that if they mention the name of Daniel to king king will not sign that decree because they were friends so they now came to lie through the king that you have to do that to do that to do that and by the time king signed it he only heard that it was Daniel when they was bringing Daniel to him for punishment when Daniel heard about it he did not disagree with them. He did not agree with them. He did not, he did not even say a word. He just and to, to show them that whatever you are doing, you will not affect me. He opened the window for them to hear very well how he's worshipping God. He opened it very well in their direction and such fire in prayer. Because he knew the God that is serving. Because he's already passed several tests. He passed several tests, even when they was in that when they arrested them to take them to Babylon. He already passed the test. God said, I will show you favor in the house of king. And God showed them favor. He knew that God, he knew the relationship he has with God. That he was ready to cry, and God answered him from heaven. That's why he said, I am not the God I'm serving. I'm ready to pass this test. Today. Because of this, because I know, we know, as we, we know that um, there's a greater life, a precious life that is waiting for us in heaven. If somebody come with gun or knife to say that, deny Jesus, I'm ready to kill you. You say, don't even ask me. Before you finish asking me, I will take your, your hand, chuck the knife so I can see Jesus immediately. You understand? Because I know where I'm going. I will not deny him and perish. That's exactly what Daniel was uh, uh, knew. He knew that because God gave me assignment in this Babylon, I know my assignment is I've not yet reached the middle. And therefore, there's no way God allowed me to die before my time. There's no way God allowed me to die without accomplishing his assignment in my life. Therefore, if you not allowed me to die, then he's coming to rescue me. That's exactly what happened. Don't be afraid of your challenges. When Daniel heard about lion, he did not shake him. We all know what the lion can do. But we have lion of trouble of Judah that can do more than all those small lions. When Meshach and Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, they hear about the fiery furnace, they was not shaking because they know that they have fire which is devouring another fire. The fire that was in them, he was ready to devour those fake fire. They were, the king was saying that increases seven times. It's nothing. When you have the fire of God in you, nothing can hurt you. They will beat you, but they cannot beat your spirit. They cannot beat your soul. That was making Apostle Paul. Each time he will go and preach the gospel of God, if they beat him, if the 
the, the pain of that beating, it will not stop when God said that. God will not tell him that, oh, uh, because they beat you when you went to preach where I sent you, because the beating was so much, maybe you need a few days to recover. And uh, by the time you recover with the pain, eh, I will send you again to Macedonia. Never! They beat him today. If God said that go to Macedonia tomorrow, he will not think that, oh, my leg is still paining. He will go. Because the grace of God is his strength. Is there to strengthen him. He will not think about the pain. He will not think about the pain. Because he has passed all the tests that you qualify. He wants to pass all the tests that will qualify him to enter into the kingdom. Because he was passed all the tests, that's why he was so happy. He said, now I'm ready. Oh, most of the letter that Apostle Paul was writing, he was writing it inside prison. Inside prison. And you know that the life in prison is not easy. But it did not, even inside prison, he did not stop pleasing his God. Because he knew what God was preparing to him. He wanted to pass the test. He did not complain. God, if I'm saving you, God, if you are the, if you are the one that called me, why did you allow this to happen to me, God? Why did you allow it, Father? If you really anoint me. David never said that. David was alone in the bush. He was alone. He couldn't trust anybody. But he can trust God. He knew that he would sit down in that throne. Lion will not kill him. Snake will not bite him. The demon will not attack him. Because he needed to sit in that throne to do the assignment God wanted him to do. As a king. What God call you? Forget about the challenges that come in your way. Forget about every challenges that are coming to your way. Just glorify God. Just God to give you the grace. If you lose your job, say, God, you know that this is the only job that is feeding me. I lose it. Okay. If you know that you have not done anything wrong and you lose that job, God will provide for you. He's our provider. He sent the bed for how many days to go and feed Elijah? And this bread was faithful to, to bring bread to Elijah in the very particular moment Elijah was angry because he was sent by God. God will never forsake his children. Where there is no people around that can help you, God can send a bed to come and feed you. We should trust God more, whatever challenge. I will not finish this message without sharing my testimony. Because I know it might encourage you in the situation that you may find yourself, you know. When before I come to holiness, I was a hairdresser. This is the only job that I knew how to do well. And the job that was blessing me, according to me, I used to call it an, I used to call it a gift. I'm a gifted because I have this ability to do many people. I have this ability to do many, you know, I can Three people they can come when I'm doing another person and say, I just tell you that sit down, I'll do it. Ah, with this time, I said, Don't worry, I know how to do it. I'll finish quick, I'll do. I can do so many people at the same time, you know, in one day. And I used to call it, you know, um talent. God gave me talent. God cannot give you talent that you challenge him. It's not the talent from God, it was gift from Satan. I used to, I was doing all uh, these things and selling all this and God leaving all those property of the enemy until when I came to the knowledge of of truth I knew that I was destroying the temple of God what did I do I packed everything I destroyed it I destroyed it I those people that bought the, the the people that bought some they borrowed some from me and they couldn't pay or they have no time to pay the one that I have their number I ask them not to pay me and also to destroy it. To destroy it or to give it back to me. To return it back to me because I knew I'm going to destroy it. So now think about somebody that doesn't know any other thing to do. And then you find yourself in that situation. So it was this particular day. For some reason, they stopped my benefit. With unknown reason. They stop all my benefit. Normally, if there is a reason of something that I don't, they could have just stopped mine and leave to my children. But this case, they stop all, even the children. 
that was even under 18. They have not yet reached the age of 18 for them to stop it, but they stop it for some reason. So I was then in that stage of struggling. One of these days, I found myself just like that woman in the Bible. I had just um, one bottle of milk of one liter in my fridge. And then I have like uh, six slices of bread in one pack of bread. You know, here we have this uh, sliced bread. It was like six of them. And I'm talking about three children. Three children and the youngest one was like five or six. And you know that in that age, they are so like, you know, they need attention. Ah, food, crying for food, all those things. And it was when? It was Saturday. It was Saturday. Saturday, the day that the children wake up early in the morning to play, to ask for food because they are not going to school. If they are going to school, you have this hope that at least in the lunchtime, they will give them something to eat. Then you become just looking for the afternoon one. You know that in the in the day in the school day, they will give them food at school. But we are talking about Saturday. And guess what happened to me? I wake up, I didn't have anything. And I was like, you know, I was thinking because I know what is in my house and I didn't have any money. Then I was thinking, I said, oh my God, it was around 10. I was by this time, when I finished my devotion, I said, by this time, these children, they already finished the bread. And what are they going to eat in the day, you know? Well, around 3 o'clock, they will start crying that there's no dinner, there's nothing to offer them. And then my brother, by now, by then, he was in Africa. He was not here that I can, I, I can ask him to, to know, to help me for something. So there's nobody to ask for help. I was like, oh, am I going to do? Then by that time, all the friends ran away from me because the way, uh, the way I was preaching to them, this message, they, they was not ready to, to follow me in this journey of holiness. So they just ran away. Then I heard the phone call. I heard the phone call. The woman was calling one one of my customers that I used to do their hair. She was calling me. I picked the call and she said, oh, Marie, can you do my hair? I said, I don't do hair anymore. You know, I told you people from the first day that I gave my life to Christ, I called all of you. I told you that I'm not doing this thing anymore. And I also preached to you for you to, to stop. So why are you calling me? Say, no, 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 no. Nobody need to know about it. Your pastor will not know about it. Just between you and me. I'm going to one party. Please, only you can do my hair. You can do my hair because the woman did not have hair. On the side, he did not have. She did not have hair in the middle. So there's no salon that she will go. They will manage to do their hair the way I used to do because Satan gave me that gift to make me comfortable and to have more people to evangelize him for him. So I'm the only one that was able. How I was managing to do that hair to look nice, to look like she they, she have hair like everybody. I don't know. So she said, "Only you can do my hair." Please, I'll pay you double. I said, even if you pay me three times, I will not do it. He said, no, only this way. No, it will not do anything. Just do it. And the battle starts inside me. The battle started inside me. The devil was telling me that, remember, you don't have food to give to your children. Why don't you just do it? Nobody will know about it. When you finish, you'll repent. Then the Spirit of God in me was telling me, what if the rapture takes place during when you are doing the work of the, uh, the the hair of this woman, what do you think will happen to you? I was so confused. I said, no, 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 no. Don't call me again. I'm not going to do it. The woman was insisting, increasing the price. I said, I'm not going to do it. I took my phone. I off it. I off my phone for like an hour or something. I opened the phone. The woman called me again. I said, what kind of temptation is this? I off the phone. I off the phone. When I off the phone, I left it in my room. I started, went to the kitchen. I open the fridge. The bread is still there. The milk is still there. The students are busy playing, playing, playing. I told them, I said, it's almost, um, what is, it's past one now. I say, you people, you have not eaten. They say, we are not hungry. I say, oh God, these students are not hungry. These students that eat every few hours. <laughs> Their hobby is to eat in the kitchen. How come they was not able to eat this bread? I was surprised. Then I say, I went to the, you know, the sink. I started washing the dishes. Then, I, I just saw one bed pass me by in the window. I remember the word of God said that even those beds that they don't eat, but God provide for them. I went to my room. With, I just woke my, uh, you know, I went to my room. Of, uh, I, I kneeled down and said, God, if you can feel the bed that doesn't even work, you know, but you feed them every day, they never lack food. God provide for me. God provide, provide for me. I was praying, crying, praying, crying. 
Then I finished praying. I went back to the kitchen to do my hair, <laughs> to finish my dish that I was watching. Then something told me it was around uh, two something. Something told me that, ah, try to open your phone. When I opened my phone, immediately I opened my phone. I saw them, the call was coming, my friends. My friend called me. She was shouting, hey, I've been trying to call you since I was in the bank. I wake up this morning, something was telling me that I have to give you money. I have to give you money. And you are, I'm calling you, I'm not picking the phone. I say, sorry, sorry, sorry. I went off my phone. He said, no, the bank is closed because on Saturday, the bank closed at one o'clock. He said, no, the bank is closed. I'm going back to my house. If you don't follow me in my house, I'm not going to give you that money. I'll eat it because it's not my fault I've been calling. I said, no, 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 I'm coming to collect the money. And I didn't have transport. For me to go to a house is like an hour, you know. It can be an hour or plus, depend of the, the traffic. And then, that time I, I didn't have car. I was not driving then because the, my car was arrested by the police. I, I, I borrowed it to somebody to drive and this person did not have full driving license. So he went to do something and they arrested my car. And the kind of amount, uh, the amount they was asking me for me to rescue my car, I did not have that money because of the kind of challenge that I was living. So I just abandoned car with the, the police. So I did not have any car. So I was like, I'm coming. When I, I told my children, I said, please, I'm going out because I cannot take them. It's a long journey. I told them I'm going out. Please don't open the door to anybody. Don't pick the call. Don't pick the phone. You know, don't make any noise. They say, okay, as I was get, as I was trying to open my door, my friend, then the one that was living upstairs, she left. She, she was standing in my door. I said, she said, are you going out? I said, yes, I'm going out. I have no time. I need to go. Um, Juliana just called me to go there. She said, oh, I just came back from, because I knew she was in America. She said, I just came back from America. You know, I didn't have any present to buy to you because you don't wear make, you don't use makeup. You don't wear earring anymore. So I didn't have anything to give you. So I just decided to give you this 20 pound. Hey, I saw this 30 pound like a 2,000. <laughs> I said, oh my God. Then my electricity was running out. My gas was running out. I said, thank you, Jesus. She, I, she gave me that money. I took the, the, the electricity key. I took the gas card. I went all the way to my friend. Because I told you it's like a, an hour a journey. I reached there around like a four something. So when I went there, she didn't know even that I have to work. Because she didn't know that I didn't have anything. So when I went there, she said, oh. I wanted to give you 50 pounds, but because it was taking long to pick your phone, I ate 20 pounds, so I'm giving you only 30 pounds. I said, thank you, just give me. So when she gave me that money, I was like, I have to go before the shop closed, you know, to buy something. She said, why are you rushing? I said, I left the children. I need to go and buy food, you know. Tomorrow is Sunday, you know, shop doesn't open any every, uh, any early and I need to be. I don't go out on Sunday, so I need to do everything today. She said, what do you want? Don't rush, I'll give you. What do you need? She opened... um a cupboard you know where she a storage she gave me everything that this woman have in her house you know when i when i oh my i don't know how to say it that's why even when that girl insults me i always remember the good she did to me it covered the multitude of sin it's true the love cover multitude of sin. The gratitude cover multitude of sin. Whatever she did, even when it said something to me. And when my mother died, I did not call her. She was the first person to come. Some people say I did not call them, but she was the first person to come. That woman made the Lord bless her, made the Lord touch her heart to give up the property of Jezebel to make it to heaven. She gave me everything. She gave me everything. A lot of food that it was difficult for me to carry. And that food took me two weeks in my house. So I was asking God, I said, God, is this how you tell us to resist the temptation? Imagine if I did die here because of the need that I have that moment. It could have cost me my salvation. But because I passed that test, God sent someone that I was not expecting to bless me with the blessing that I was not expecting. You see how to trust God in the difficult moment? How to to trust God in the time of trial and challenge because that trial maybe is to take you to the level you've been seeking God maybe to give you something you've been asking for 
But the enemy will make you to miss it just because of doubt, just because of your way of thinking. May the Lord give us the grace to obey and trust God. Pass all your tests of faith. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless you, woman of God. We thank God for this message. We bless God for God in Jesus' name. May the Lord give each and every one of us more, 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 more grace to hold on to him when the, when, the trial, when the trial comes for us to pass our test in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless all of us in Jesus' name. And we like us to pray for the woman of God. We thank God when the Lord increase our faith in him in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray for the woman of God for this powerful message. We bless the name of the Lord. Let us pray for her, the virtue that went out of her for God to replenish unto her in Jesus' name. Let us pray for her. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the ancients of the Father, we thank you for your daughter's time. But I will thank you for your using her to be a blessing to us in the name of Jesus. We are grateful, we are thankful, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Our power is not to you, Lord. Thank you, everlasting Father. So use her to be a blessing to us, Father. But I bless her. But I bless her in return in the name of Jesus. Come, my Father, my Lord. My Redeemer. Oh, my dear God, bless her in the return in the name of your Father. The virtue that went out of her, Father, replenish it unto her in the name of Jesus. Now strengthen her, Lord. In Jesus' name, Father, my Lord, any power, any spirit, any personality that want to attack us spiritually, physically, because of this, um, because of this um, message, oh, my God, let your thunder from the blue arise and consume those powers in the name of Jesus. Man, oh, my God, give the hedge of protection around her, around her family, around her family, and her family, and her family, and her family, and her the properties in the name of Jesus Christ. Man of God, we say thank you. We bless your name. We exalt your name, Father. We soak cover the precious blood of the Lamb of God and our family. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for God. I thank God for Father Abraham. Father Abraham passed the test. May the Lord give us the grace to pass the, any test. Father God is bringing to our way for us to pass it. May the Lord give us the grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So Amen. Right now we bless the name of the Lord. Our uh, contribution time. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our contribution time offering and the tithe is the 10% of your econ. Econ, and we thank God for, for, for the goodness of God. We bless his holy name in the name of Jesus Christ. For, so as we are preparing our tithe and the offering, so then I will, I will sing. Then before we pray on our offering and tithe in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Jesus. You are the owner of my soul. I found no man, you are worthy to be praised. In all generations, there is no one like you, Lord. I found no man, you are worthy to be praised. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You are the owner of my soul. No man, you are worthy to be praised. In all generations, there is no one like you, Lord. I found no man, you are worthy to be praised. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You are the owner of my soul. I found no man, you are worthy to be praised. In all generations, there is no one like you, Papa. I found no man, you are worthy to be free. Oh, I found no man, you are worthy to be free. Oh, I found no man, you are worthy to be free. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray for honor. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father. Father, there is no other God it's like you. We thank you for blessing us so much. Father, we don't, we cannot pay you what you have done for us, Father. 
We are grateful, mighty God, Shana, for your giving us the opportunity to bring uh, tithe and uh, offering to you, to your storehouse. Father, we are grateful, Father. Father, I accept you from us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we sow the, oh, and we sow the tithe and the offering with your precious Lord of Jesus Christ. Father, mighty God, the one that doesn't, the, the one that didn't have uh, something to bring to the, to the, to your basket, oh mighty God, to the basket, oh mighty God, Father, bless them so that next time they will have something to bring in your house, in the, in the storehouse, oh mighty God. Father, mighty God, I thank you. Father, protect each and every one of us throughout the week. Protect our family in the name of our going and our coming. We commit it unto your power, unto your power, almighty God, to protect us, O Lord. And God. Father, blindfold the bad people sign on to see us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We bless your name, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. So our announcement for the week, our weekly announcement, praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, at a 1 p.m. London time, pray with us season. Please, if you have time, just join us in Jesus' name. Tuesdays and a Thursday at a midnight London time, midnight prayers. Father God said in his word, the word of the Lord said, we should not sleep as others are sleeping. As the body of Christ, Christians, we should not sleep as others are sleeping. May the Lord give us the grace to do so in Jesus' name. Amen. So, uh, godly children in Christ, Saturdays at uh, 6 p.m. London time. Please, if you have the children, please bring them, let them come and learn the word of the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. As the word of the Lord said, we the parents, we should teach our children the way of the Lord. As they grow, as they are growing, they will not depart from it. Hallelujah for, to the Lamb of God. Amen. Monday's uh, Bible, Monday Bible study twice in a month at a 7 p.m. 7, 7 p.m. London time. Praise Master Jesus. Virtual uh, Sermon time twice a month, uh, twi twice a month on Mondays at a 7 p.m. London time. Please, if you have time, just join us in Jesus' name. Weekly night vision every Fridays at 11 p.m. London time. Please join us. Some are the guy for your family. I should stand at the gap for my father and the body of Christ as well in Jesus' name to intercede for others in Jesus' name. Amen. Sunday service, our Sunday service at 4 30 p.m. London time. As we start today, same, same 4 30. Please, next week, if you have time, just join us. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Every fourth Sunday of, a, of a each month, Holy Communion. Father Lord Jesus Christ said to you and all in his word, he said we should do it in remembrance of him. Hallelujah. May the Lord give us the grace to do it in remembrance of him. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Every first week of the month, we have a fasting and a prayer to dedicate the month into God's hands. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God. Please be ready, be prepared next month to join us for three days prayer and uh, fasting and prayer. The month, any month is standing on our way, month of barrier, month of backwardness, month of failure, any month of evil delay. We are going to move them by the grace of God, by the power and the authority of our lovely Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. This is the announcement for the, our weekly announcement. Announcement. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. So right now, I will call upon the woman of God for the benediction. May the Lord bless you, ma, in Jesus' name, Evangelist Mary. May the Lord bless you. Ma. Hallelujah. Sorry for my camera is off because of my background. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you, King of glory. Father, thank you for your word, O Lord Jesus. Father, thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you, O Lord Jesus, Father, because you want to encourage us, O Lord Father, to trust you more, to obey the word of God, O Lord Father, and to pass our test of faith that the enemy will not deceive us, will not discourage us, O Lord. Father, give us knowledge, discernment, O Lord Jesus, Father, to discern the time that we are passing our test so that the enemy will not put evil minds 
in us, O oh Lord, Father, to make us to sin against you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this message, Father, as you say in your word that will not be, we should not be the hearer only, but also to be the doer. Father, give us the grace to be the doer of your word, to practice it, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, to live not according to our will, but to live according to your will alone, your will alone, O oh Lord, Father, that the sin will not have dominion over our life in this end time, O oh Lord, as we are getting closer to our salvation than before, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, give us the grace, O oh Lord, Father, to stand firm, not to give up, not to get discouraged in the wrong time, not to slumber in, in to, to have a spiritual slumber, but to be active, to be sober, to watch in prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, give us the grace, O Lord, Father, let our name, O Lord, Father, remain in the book of life. Anytime you may come, O Lord, Father, let us be among the wise virgin that to prepare themselves, O Lord, Father, that do not like all in our lamp, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Father, we cover all ourselves the blood of Jesus. Thank you for today, O Lord, Father. We thank you, O Lord Jesus, Father, for this opportunity to be in your presence, Father. We thank you, Lord, Father, because you still have to protect us. You are continuing to protect us, Lord, Father, even with the unseen battle that is happening. Father, you are fighting for us, oh Lord. We give you all the glory. We cover ourselves the blood of Jesus. Thank you for today in Jesus' mighty name. We are going to share the grace since we have come to the end of our service in the name of Jesus. By the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit to rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Follow us all the days of the Lord. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Two seconds silent. Shalom. God bless you all. Shalom.